Hey everybody, welcome back to Overland Florida. I'm Kevin. We have Ron camping with us today and a special guest, Sailor. We are actually at an abandoned old hunting campground right now and we are standing on an old foundation to an old homestead. You know the drill, today is Friday. Ron and I just worked the last two nights, over 24 hours. And we got off seven o'clock this morning. I slept for about three hours, loaded up the truck and we're out in the woods. It is a late start. It is almost six o'clock at night. So we're gonna do maybe an hour's worth of trail riding and then we're gonna head to uh, set up camp somewhere. So two videos ago, Ron, Josh, and I were out uh, in the forest, and it was pretty dry. We could go on most of the trails anyway, but that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday that we worked, a tropical storm came through and just dumped a few inches of rain all over Florida. So there is so much water out here. We have to take all the little roundabout areas, which all the trees are so close together, it's kind of hard to maneuver with the trailer. So think about that if you, uh, the people that want to build trailers and buy trailers to, oh, to bring. So we made a loop and we're back out to the abandoned hunting camp. We're letting Sailor have a little water break and stretch her legs and then we are on our way to our campsite. It is actually really muggy surprisingly. Paul Delgado lied. He said it's supposed to be a cold front coming through the other day and it's supposed to be in the 60s and it is like 84 degrees and it rained about an hour and a half ago so it's super muggy. 
So we have camp set up. There's Ron's truck, there's mine, and it is raining. So we got the awning set up. Sailors over here taking shelter. And tonight's gonna be another night of cooking on cast iron. So everybody knows how forgetful I am. So when I go camping, I try to limit all my stuff into this green box and that black box. This green box is pretty much just a dedicated meal prepping and just stuff you're gonna need for camping. Um, paper towels, cups, lighters, uh, spices, uh, Seminole Swamp Seasoning from uh, Scott. And then I have, of course, everybody's crowd favorite, Everglades Seasoning. A little chopping block, knives, cups, plates, uh, little pots, um, tin foil, you know, just stuff you're gonna need for cooking. That all fits in there. And then over here, this is pretty much just the dedicated box for all of our cast iron stuff now. Uh, we have a size 12 lodge, eight, um, charcoal, we have tongs to move the charcoal, um, bottle of oil to, to wipe it down afterwards. And we're going to be adding some other stuff to this, um, some skillets. Ron has a pretty good skillet. He also brought this for the first time. Uh, he found this in the box, has had it a while, didn't know where he got it from. It was either like a flea market, maybe Goodwill. Um, but this is also a Lodge product right here. Uh, this is going to go great on the uh, dual burner gas stove that we have. We can cook on here and stuff like that. So. That's pretty much what we're working with now. So as you can tell, it's going to be another rainy camping trip, but uh, we're actually really used to this by now. Poor sailor, is this what you signed up for? Is this what you signed up for, sailor? We gotta keep this fire going. That's probably the most important thing right now. So fortunately we set up when it was dry, right before the rain came. Literally, we set up both awnings and we walked around to gather firewood and by the time we got back, it was just a steady sprinkle. So, fire's still going, it's still a little steady rain, but uh, I, need to, I need to adjust this and uh, tighten it up because, yeah. We're getting some rain tonight. Alrighty, so uh, tonight um, we're going to make pizza on the campfire tonight. Um, on the Florida Overland community page I posted a couple days ago about what are some foods to cook when camping. And about three or four of y'all said pizza. So I got the idea that I'm going to do pizza. So I got this dough here. I've never made this or used this particular dough before. Um, it was next to the biscuits. Um, it's like a pre-made dough. We're going to go ahead and open it up. Give it a whirl and see how it is. All right, so the first thing I noticed is it comes with this parchment paper. On the package, it actually says cook directly on the parchment paper, but obviously since we're on a fire, that's not gonna work. So let's unroll it here and see how doughy it is. So uh, we're actually gonna be making two different types of pizzas tonight. Um, our first pizza is actually gonna be a Thai peanut chicken pizza um, with this peanut sauce here. We're also going to pre-grill up a little bit of chicken, shred it, throw it on there, but not cook it all the way so that way it can cook into the pizza. It's going to be topped off with some shredded carrots, some mozzarella cheese, and we also have some green onions we're going to dice up, but they're over there somewhere. <laughs> then our second pizza we're going to make is just your standard pizza sauce, pepperoni, pizza with mozzarella cheese, of course. Um, one thing we did realize is, originally we were just going to take the pizza dough and set it straight onto the grill, but due to the fact of just how doughy it is, we're going to do is it on tin foil first, and then uh, once it hardens up, then we'll move it on over to the grill grates. And what we're going to do to help cook the top of the pizza is I have this large uh, lodge pan here. Uh, we're going to set this over top of it, so it's going to almost be like an oven. So let's see how it turns out. Luckily the fire is going strong. Sailor's still here with us, taking cover. And we're still working on the pizza. It's turned out cool. It's trial and error nonetheless. We've kind of uh, abandoned the tin foil and now we're gonna try it on a grate. I need to adjust the uh, poles on this because it's starting to collect some rainwater.
We have this grill grate that we found laying in the back of the truck, so we transferred the pizza crust over to it. So we're gonna go ahead and add some of this uh, peanut sauce. Spread it around. So we're adding some cheese here now onto the pizza. We're just adding some simple mozzarella. Get a nice little covering on there. We might just move the fire over a little bit. So here we have our prepared Thai chicken pizza. We're about ready to carry it on over to the fire and set it on there and let's see how it turns out. So Ron's oven idea with this pan is working out. It's taking a little bit longer, but you know, we're night shifters and it's still early. Sailor over here is being a sport and hanging out, being nice and quiet like a good girl. And it stopped raining. And have you ever heard the term calm before the storm? Well, it just so happens, my buddy Ryan, who was in the Jenny Springs video with us, just messaged us. And there is a tornado warning for Polk and Pasco counties. And I guess uh, there was a tornado around 54, which is, sorry, there's a bug in my eye. <laughs> near 54 which is kind of where we are so now we got to listen for what trains coming through a trailer park yep. is that what everybody describes Sturdy. and the rain keeps coming Ron is a genius look how delicious this pizza looks it turned out amazing So between all of our firewood being wet and all the kindling laying on the ground, plus the grate on that grill was a little bit higher off the uh, fire than we hoped. So we decided we're just going to use the uh, stove out here to uh, finish our asparagus. While the asparagus is cooking, shout out to Mike at Dobbinson's 4x4 down in Miami. Uh, I have aftermarket front suspension, but the rear suspension in my truck since I've owned it has been stock. And you guys know how much weight and crap that I carry in the back of my truck. So anytime I was commuting on I-4 to work or just driving around town, anytime I hit railroad tracks, overpasses, I was actually hitting the bump stops on the stock suspension, which is horrible. So I reached out to uh, Mike at Dobinson's and I told him that, hey, I need new suspension. I don't know what to get. And he went above and beyond and actually went on my social media, looked at pictures of my truck, how much weight I had in the back between the bumper the camping gear, the refrigerator, the marine battery, the bed rack, and he put together a, a, a list of parts um, specifically for my truck, and it helped out a lot, and uh, thank you for that, Mike. I ordered everything that he recommended. I got uh, new springs rated at 500 static load. I got upgraded shocks, uh, greasable pins and bolts for the leaf springs, U-bolts, the whole nine yards, everything I can get for the rear of the truck, I pretty much ordered and it is amazing. It's like floating on a cloud now when I hit road tracks. And it's probably as close to a trophy truck as I'm ever gonna own. And I just cannot believe how much different it is over stock suspension. And I kinda wanna change my front suspension out to Dobbinson's because he pretty much sold me just on the rear suspension alone that I wanna know how much of a difference it would be just to get the front suspension uh, for the truck. But other than that, if you guys have a Toyota, they might do other other brands too, but I think they mainly just do Toyotas. Um, reach out to Mike at Dobinson's 4x4 down in Miami. He's on Instagram, I think, as Mike at Dobinson's 4x4. Um, if not, I'll put you in touch with him. He's a really great guy. Like I said, he just looked at a picture of my truck and knew exactly what I needed. We were just finishing up eating this meal. It was delicious. And I don't know if you can hear it, but it started raining again. Thank God for all these awnings. We actually have some more awnings that we were just talking about uh, putting on the trucks, just so we'll have some more coverage, especially if more people come. But Sailor's over here doing her thing. And the fire's still going surprisingly. We don't have very much firewood left. Actually, I think 
we might not have any firewood left, but if we just walk into the woods a little bit, there's plenty of sticks and kindling, but it's all soaking wet. Other than that, everything's doing great. No complaints. It's so peaceful out right now. It's just a steady little sprinkle. We're starting to pick everything up. And not much going on. Still got a fire going. Sailor's still here. Not much left to put away. Just have to do some dishes. Sorry for the quality of this video, I did not realize until after we were cooking dinner that I'm using the wrong GoPro. Um, I guess when I left the house I grabbed my old 5 instead of the new 7. So the image stabilization and the quality is probably not going to be uh, up to par with the other videos, but oh well, it happens. Well we're all packed up, successful camping trip in the books. Today is Saturday morning, and Sunday we're all meeting at the Dunedin Causeway. I think Ron and I are going to cook some tacos out there, enjoy the salt water, and some paddle boarding and kayaking. And then next Wednesday we're back at it again camping. So thank you everybody for following along. If there's anything that you want to recommend Ron for cooking, he's open for suggestions. So leave a comment on something for Ron to cook.